the prophet Elijah and his follower Elisha were traveling to Gilgal, Elijah received a message from the Lord. Elijah said to Elisha, The Lord is sending me to Bethel, but you should wait here for me. But Elisha said, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Bethel together. A group of prophets who lived in Bethel greeted Elijah and Elisha when they arrived. They asked Elisha, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Elisha replied, Yes, I know, so be quiet. Then even though they had just arrived in Bethel, Elijah said to Elisha, The Lord is sending me to Jericho, but you should wait here for me. Elisha replied, As surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So off they went to Jericho. A group of prophets who lived in Jericho greeted Elijah and Elisha when they arrived. They asked Elisha, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, so be quiet. Then, even though they had just arrived in Jericho, Elijah said to Elisha, The Lord is sending me to the river Jordan, but you should wait here for me. Elisha replied, as surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them set off for the river Jordan. Fifty of the prophets went and stood at a distance facing the place where Elijah and Elisha had stopped at the river Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up, and struck the water with it. The water divided to the right and to the left and the two of them crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me, what can I do for you before I am taken from you? Elisha replied, Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit. You have asked a difficult thing, Elijah said. Yet, if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be yours. Otherwise, it will not. Elijah and Elisha continued walking along the bank of the river Jordan when, all of a sudden, a chariot and horses engulfed in a ball of flame appeared and separated the two of them, taking Elijah with it and leaving Elisha behind. Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha saw this and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel! and Elisha saw him no more. Then he took hold of his garment and tore it in two. Elisha saw that Elijah's cloak had fallen from him when he was taken to heaven. Elisha picked it up and went back to the bank of the river Jordan. He took the cloak, rolled it up, and struck the water with it. Where now is the Lord? the God of Elijah, he asked. When he struck the water, it divided to the right and to the left, and he crossed over. The group of prophets who had followed them from Jericho were watching, and they said, the spirit of Elijah is resting on Elisha. And they went to meet him and bowed to the ground before him. We, your servants, have 50 able men let them go and look for your master. Perhaps the Spirit of the Lord has picked him up and set him down on some mountain or in some valley. Even though Elisha knew that this was not what happened, the group of prophets persisted until Elisha finally said, Fine, send them. So the fifty men searched for three days, but did not find Elijah. When they returned to Jericho where Elisha was staying, he said to them, didn't I tell you not to go?